Hey, it's me, Javine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fall New Vegas. And in yet another position recording. If you can imagine this, I've got a mattress on my recording, in, on the floor of my recording studio. I'm leading into it um, with, like, sort of my shoulder in front of the, the microphone. Well, who cares? Uh, just anyways, if, again, if I sound weird, that's why. Because my vocal cords are being strained in ways that they're normally not. Anyways, let's take a look here. We got Confront Benny at the Tops Casino for Ring a Ding Ding. And as I've been hinting at, it's not going to be the simplest of things to get into the strip, as you can see there. Would that make a good thumbnail right off the bat? Mmm. Uh, I would like to get a close. I mean, that is quite pretty. What if we get the free side card? That thing looks so dirty and grimy. Disgusting. Disgusting! Yeah, let's go ahead and get a thumbnail. We might be able to nab a better one, but for now, let's just do that. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty and nice. I might have to reflect it, though, because uh, got to put the number of the episode in a way that's going to be seen by everybody. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Freeside, ladies and gents. This is where things get quite interesting, as you no doubt probably already know. Okay, let's go ahead and get one conversation topic done with Boone real quick. What is it? Let's see, Boone. Uh, let's see. Let's do that, and then let's do... Does the name Benny mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. What can you tell me about New Vegas? It's NCR land for the most part. We tamed it. Now we're settling it. A lot of people complain about it, but they forget what it was like before we showed up. It's a lot of territory to secure. Too much, even for a big army like the NCRs. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about your tactics. You want to do something different? Enough about tactics. All right. All right, let's do one more. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. And let's do... <laughs> I wonder what Boone thinks about Caesar's Legion. Anyone have a guess? Yeah, lots of thoughts. All about the best ways to kill him. Okay, and we got one more, so let's just finish that out. Okay. And that is... How do you feel about the NCR? Coming east was about securing the land so people could live without fear. It's not always that simple, but I think the cause is still right. And God help us if they lose. That's a good take, I think. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all of Boone's dialogue that we have access to now, and it's unfortunate that we spent so much time with him and still don't even have any leeway on his quest. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but... Regardless, uh, so we need to make our way over. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, buddy, spare a cap. I can make it worth your while. What does that mean? Are you solicitating me? Solic, solic, what? Solic, solicit, soliciting me? Ha ha ha! Oh, that's rich. You're not exactly my type. No offense. No, I meant I could give you a tip, earn my money, so to speak. Sure, here you go. The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. That's two tips, but what the hell? You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Wanna hear another? Sure, here you go. In the area between the north and east gates is the old Mormon fort, where the followers of the Apocalypse have set themselves up. The followers aren't a bad bunch, and provide healing and supplies to the people of Freeside as they can. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Sure, here you go. Ever hear of the Gunrunners? They sell just about every kind of firearm you can imagine, and some you probably couldn't. I got more where that came from. Want another? Jeez. Sorry. Maybe another time. I understand. Well, have a good day. You too, man. That guy's quite nice. Thank you very much. All right. A lot of things to do here. A lot of people to talk to, including this little kid, which I wonder. Max and Stacy. Hmm. Let's save the game real quick. Make a new save. Now, I wonder... I guess we're detected from Boone. 
use. Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for. So this kid has got Euclid's Sea Finder. Now, remember when we were at Helios 1 and I was saying if you activate Archimedes, you could use it for yourself? How this works is if you buy it or steal it from this kid, I think he offers it to you, I don't remember, uh, you will be able to use it, like, I think it's like once every 24 hours, and it'll basically call down an orbital strike. Not sure how good it is. I've used it in a playthrough, but I don't remember, uh, yeah, just how good it is or anything. Uh, but there you go. That's exactly what I was talking about in the previous episode. Now, if we talk to this kid... Uh, he just equipped it! <laughs> that was interesting. Reach for the sky, mister. Can I buy that gun from you? This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. Oh crap, you need barter? Or a thousand caps? Well, we ain't spending a thousand caps. I don't think I can come up with that kind of cash. Well, if you can get me most of it, I could give you a loan for the rest. Goodbye. See you. Okay, if we get our barter up, we can come back and grab that gun from this kid, which, you know, I would like to grab all the unique weapons if possible. So hey. there you go. What's up? Nope. Uh, Alright, we're just going to keep this on the level for now. Is this guy not talking to us? Works for me. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to... My goal for today... Whoa. Boone, you alright, man? Can't run from me. Uh-oh, Boone's on edge. Oh boy, already? Okay, you take him out, Boone. You got this. You're mine. Wow, Boone, I thought you were accurate. Okay, there you go. I guess Boone's accurate to a fault when they get too close. Nice one, Boone. All right, so yeah, in free side, you'll just be straight up attacked, as you can see here. Not the coolest thing. All right, we're going to continue on. I think we're going to, yeah, we're going to keep this going. Uh, we can always return to free side, but I would like to get into the strip uh, before this episode ends, as I've been saying. Over there, though, is a pretty interesting, that's the old Mormon fort. That's what was uh, being referenced to with the followers of the apocalypse. Who is this? Hello. Oh, you're just called Child. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's see. Where are we going? Looks like it wants us to go through this door here. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Okay, noted. Thanks, buddy. Um, should we go to the old Mormon fort though? For oh, what's can up, be Boone? Bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. We got another mugger. Are you serious? Oh, this guy's just going for it. All right, buddy. Run from me. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot your face with some liquid hot magma. Actually, liquid hot plasma. How do you feel about that? Oh, look at that. You made me waste another shot on you. Are you serious? That's not cool, man. Alright, let's put this thing away. It is too powerful for our own good. Okay, um, yeah. I think we, we, we can come back. There's tons of stuff to if do it here. Can be bought, it can be found it. But for now, let's go ahead and head into Freeside. Okay, here we go. As I said, this is where things get quite interesting. We got the kings, which would in fact make a far better thumbnail, I think. And especially, it's going to be just more to do with what we're actually doing. So let's go ahead and get a nice little thumbnail there. Beautiful. Sometimes it makes the sound like you're actually getting the button inputs, but you're not. Isn't that fun? Now, wait, can we actually... Let, let's head up to the strip first. We're trying to get to the Tops Casino, remember. Which is in the actual part of the strip. Uh, this, all this area here is not considered part of the strip. It's its own thing, Fremont. Uh, and then what's the other one? West Side or whatever? I forget what it's called. Look at these guys just going for it. God, people just openly attacked on the streets, huh? Not cool, man. Absolutely not cool. Okay, so here's the big check. Here's the super duper check. Actually, we may be able to get into this without doing anything else, huh? Let's save before we walk up, though. Yet another thug. God, don't you thugs learn. Yeah, you're not getting away. Just trying to see if my friends can take you out. Oh. Are you cowering in fear now? Do you want it to be over? Oh, sorry. I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt, man. Looks like my friends weren't so inclined to do so, however. Nice shot, Eat boom. This. Still more? Never ends with free side, man. Okay, let's go, Boone. Come on. If we, if we stick around squashing every single cockroach, our shoes will never be clean. <laughs> I just came up with that on the spot. All right. Time to save the game. Uh, let's see. Did we make... Yeah. All right. We're going to save here. And here we go. Time to figure out if we can just enter. I know what the prerequisites are, but I don't know if we have them. So let's see. Submit to a credit check. 
or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Credit check? What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Okay, so I wonder, do we actually have the 2,000 cap? So that's the credit check. Uh, there are multiple ways to get in here. If you have 80 science, which is quite a high check, uh, you can just get in, I guess. Um, if you have 2,000 caps, you can get in. Also, you can get a passport uh, by doing another quest line. But, do we have the 2,000 caps? I'll submit to a credit check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Easy peasy. Wow. Alright, Boone. Well, let's head in, man. Uh, I'm gonna make a save. Well, we already made a save. We're gonna make a new save in a second. I don't think anything's missable if you go straight away to the strip, but like I said... Man, this is gonna be like the third... Oh no! Oh no! Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. What are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. Okay, so that's unfortunate. It was playing, but I guess it's faded out, which is good. Hopefully it doesn't play that every single time. I don't actually remember. Uh, I cannot deal with the, uh, yeah, the copyright strikes. That's no, that's no good. Uh, all right, bear with me, everybody. We're going to have to take a third. I, I was thinking we weren't going to be able to get in through, but we have more caps than I usually do. So a third thumbnail. All right, there we go. Come on, we got to get the lucky 30. Actually, can we get both too? That'd be amazing. Uh, we'll just get that one right there. Perfect. All right, that'll be the last one for the, for the, for the episode, I promise. Okay. Now, here's where things open up quite a bit. Let's take a look at our quest, shall we? Got ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Search the strip for the man who shot you. Confront Benny at the Tops Casino. Casino. I keep saying, like, Casino. Casino. The house always wins one. Talk to Mr. House at the Lucky 38. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do this first, and this is the Lucky 38 right here. Uh, this, by the way, is the strip, so say hi to it. Got to be honest, it's pretty underwhelming. Uh, we got Gamora over there, which looks quite good. We got the Lucky 38, which looks quite good. We got the Tops Casino in the next area. We got the, uh, what's Don't it called? The, the Ultra Lux me. over there. Uh, what is... Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Easy to hide weapons. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. So we got sneak. We don't have enough sneak, but uh, oh, we could get bigger weapons past the guards. Interesting. Why would I need to hide a weapon on me? We we. I'm pretty sure Avery knows the answer to that question. Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino. That's why they'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me, I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table i totally agree let's see what you have take a look at these beauties so this is mr holdout and he sells us some stuff that they will not be able to lift off of us when we go into casinos what exactly does he have he's got a switchblade straight oops uh switchblade straight razor spike knuckles we got silence 22 pistols uh and then some 22 ammo how much is that si oh man this stuff's cheap as hell Silence 22 pistol for 19 caps. Damage is 41. Damage here is 43. But what we can do is we can buy both of these and repair them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy both. And then we're going to take that 22 ammo. And, uh, yeah. Just buy it outright. Thanks, buddy. Never know when we might need it. But anyways, what is even that? Is that the, the hotel? I don't know what that's actually supposed to be. Um, I guess we'll see. Yeah, it should be the vault hotel. Regardless, this is the strip. It's quite small <laughs> compared to the actual strip, but nevertheless, let's head inside the Lucky 38. 
Do we have to talk to... Bi Hello? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. I go where I please attack. Um, jeez. Ah, uh, I, I think our hands are tied, so no problem. I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Okay. All right, Boone. I don't know where Boone's at, but buddy, just wait around. I'll be back shortly, I promise. So here is the mysterious Lucky 38, and notice there ain't nothing in here but robots. Now, there are some definite surprises in the casino level of the Lucky 38, one of which... Let us see. I always forget where this thing actually is. Uh, let's do a little bit of exploring real quick. Okay, we got gun cabinets that are all empty. Don't know why they're empty, but I guess it would be incredibly OP if they just stock that thing with a million guns that we could just take advantage of. Yeah, there are some goodies to be found. Oh, check that out. Okay, didn't want to take those, but it's not an item we can actually... Oh, wow. All right, just a whole bunch of free stuff, I guess. Don't mind if I do. Got another safe. Wow, look at this. Okay, yeah. Hydra, restore limb condition. Very nice. Laser pistol. Uh, nah. We're gonna take all them drugs. Carton of cigarettes. Weight to value 40. People were saying the cigarettes were good to take, but honestly, that's not, like, that much caps. Uh, we're gonna take all this stuff. Thank you very kindly. I mean, yeah, it's probably good. It's probably good to take all those, uh, cartons of cigarettes. Um, I just never really play like that. And I'm not gonna start now, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, if, if I didn't care about my inventory, I would do it. Uh, yeah, seems like a good way to make some money. Now, we're looking for a, a particular item here, which I think... There it is. Okay, we got the golden gloves and boxing times. There you go. And a whole bunch of sarsaparilla. I guess, uh, the proprietor... Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're already in over encumbered. So we're gonna go ahead and drink all them sunset sarsaparillas. Okay, take a look in the top left and see. Uh, we got a hard terminal there. Yeah, take a look in the top left and see if we get a sunset star... Sunset Blue Star. Um, Alright, so we'll take a look at those blue boxing gloves in just a second. I think that's pretty much everything we want to look at down here. Am I right? We'll just go to the other side real quick. Let's see. Is there anything on this table? Probably got some more Sunset Sarsaparilla. We sure do, actually. Oh, man, that's a lot. Oh, some of them are empty, though. Okay, we'll just take all of them. Oh, there's some whiskey. We'll take a couple. And that'll be that. We won't take any more than that. We'll pop all of these. We'll drink all of these. And then uh, we'll just drop. Where are those? There we go. Okay, we'll drop all those. All right, we should be good to go. Yeah, we're going to... I don't even care if there's anything else in here. Let's get moving. Uh, let's take a look at our weapons. We've got the Golden Gloves effects. Inflicts fatigue damage KO. What? I didn't even... Okay, I don't know how those work, but that's quite interesting. Um... I think, now that I've played through Fallout 1 and 2, that's actually probably a reference to literally Fallout 2, of which you can get Golden Gloves, and was made by a lot of the same people, like I said. Where to, partner? Okay, let's go to the penthouse. Penthouse floor. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. I mean, you got a pretty face, but cold metallic arms. What's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Oh, there's one actually in the... in the uh, Lucky 38. I've got a snow globe for Mr. House's... I said that weird. I've got a snow globe for Mr. House's collection. You do? 
Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Okay, so notice we actually got 2,000 caps for that. You get 2,000 caps a pop for, them, for those snow globes. Goodbye. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> so yeah, he's got a snow globe collection, and it is somewhere around here. I forget exactly where it is, but we can we can spot it um, revolving around one of these. Yeah, it's somewhere. But regardless, let's talk to the big man himself, who's right here. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask. Now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. You aren't going to ramble on about the virtues of life out in the wastes, are you? It's a desert, you do realize. A radioactive desert where humans subsist in a barbaric state. Difficult to glorify convincingly. They are, however, aptly named. For that's what you'd be out there, wasted. Here on the Strip, your talents can be put to use. What are you talking about? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Let's get down to business, then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. I'd like to ask some questions. What did you wish to know? How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards. Except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. The chairmen are your employees. Don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Say I want to take a diplomatic approach. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas on how I could catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly, there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? What terms are you offering? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? I mean, jeez. <laughs> I love the, um, yeah, it's funny, the, the dialogue here, if you don't have the correct, uh, you know, skills, like, it, it's just, it's, your guy's such a doofus. Raise your price or, or, uh, your chip out of luck? Um, I think we just have to agree, don't we? I, I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, that was the, I mean, we're the courier, like, that was our original goal anyways. A thousand caps? I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I'd planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. What use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, 
But I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the Platinum Chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. What is the Platinum Chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. Okay, so we're going to go through this entire dialogue tree here just because it's probably one of the most important dialogue trees in the entire game. So hopefully y'all like some dialogue because this one's going to be heavy with it. But the more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. So that's a huge hint right there, yeah. If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers, the rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. So now we know that the other five couriers were all just dummies, you know, to throw people off the trail of the Platinum Chip. We're, our item was the only one that was of real value. I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly to develop that chip. I spent a sum of U.S. dollars, not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for them. Why don't you send your robots into the tops to arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. So now we know why he has his gigantic fortune, because he was the leader of, well, he was the CEO of Robco. And when he says the three families, he means the owners of the Topps Casino, the uh, the uh, Gamora Casino, and also the Ultralux, which we haven't really seen yet. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicone. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some other stuff going on here, but we're not going to figure out everything just yet. How have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. 
But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Okay, and we got tell me about the factions vying for New Vegas, but I think we'll end it here uh, ooh, Does he say do you want to know more though? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic But we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered What else did you want to know? Okay, that should be everything. Goodbye Well enough be on your way so yeah, as I said, this is where the game opens up immensely because you don't have to work for good old Mr. House here. You have a lot of options, and those options are going to be the biggest challenge in regards to completing everything in this game. As I said, you just can't. There's no way to do every quest because there are, uh, let's see, well, I mean, four major factions or four major routes that you can take. Uh, all of which go against each other. Uh, so yeah, that's Mr. House, the enigmatic... Really? Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. So that's what's super OP about this, is that we get our own presidential suite, and it's actually really, really nice. I mean, all of this is ours now. We basically use this for storage, as I've been saying, which I usually do, although there is a cooler base that I like to use later on. So I guess we will store stuff here, um, but then we'll move, eventually we'll move everything over to the other place that I quite enjoy. But yeah, this entire presidential suite is now ours. So honestly, working for Mr. House is uh, not Where a bad deal. Partner? I'd like to go to the casino, please, which should be the ground floor, right? I always get confused here. Casino yeah. floor. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, we've got a lot of exploration and talking to do in the New Vegas Strip. As I said, there are so many working parts going on here and different things kind of uh, coinciding with each other that you kind of have to be careful if you want to do a lot of stuff. So uh, we just need to get the platinum ship from Benny, who has stolen it under Mr. House's nose, and return it to Mr. House, and that's kind of our main goal. And I suppose we'll go for that goal, at least for the time being. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much to the patrons. And I will see you in the next episode, everybody. Bye-bye.